I'm Sarah Rubel-Kabebeck, Manager of Marketing and Community Relations for White Memorial. I'm here at our smoke-free event. Come join us as we talk to some people about our campus becoming a smoke-free facility. I'm here with Al Deiniger, Vice President of Construction and Facilities for White Memorial Medical Center. And we'd like to ask him why White Memorial became a smoke-free campus today. Well, so that's a really good question. Um, White Memorial, of course, is a healthcare institution and we need to represent and be the forefront of a healthy environment and wellness. And so this is really the beginning of a wellness campaign to really promote wellness uh, throughout the whole campus in our community. I believe we're the first uh, hospital in the city of Los Angeles to have a smoke-free campus and we like that reputation. So here we have Manny Espinosa. He makes great grills, uh, grilled food, but he quit smoking. How long has it been? Yeah, about six months ago. I used to go downstairs with a security officer and he told me this thing is coming and we start thinking about do something about it. And suddenly my wife, she jumped on me, my daughter, and we decided to... We so went your to whole city. family? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. So you have the support of his whole family, yes, which is we great. All, we all took, we got together, we went to see the doctor and he prescribed the, the, patch. the patch. We are doing great. Well, Doing congratulations. We hope to have more employees to be inspired by your story. And I'm here with Susan Alfreds, our Director of Nutritional Services, who was also at one point a smoker, and we want to be inspired by her story. So tell us about how you quit smoking. My aunt was diagnosed with uh, lung and brain cancer, and it was uh, in 2003, and I uh, went to New York to help her through her chemotherapy and it inspired me to quit because uh, it affected the family in many, many ways that you can imagine. So um, I've been uh, smoke-free since December of 2003, and today we're celebrating with our Go Cold Turkey sandwich bar in the cafe. So Go Cold Turkey at our smoke-free campus. Thank you, Susan. I'm here with Jennifer Kwok, recruiter at HR, and she actually quit smoking how many years ago? Four years ago today. And on this day, it's her birthday, and it's the Great American Smoke Out. She didn't mean to happen that way, but it did. And how do you feel now? I feel great. I am so glad that I quit. It was such a good decision. Um, by no means was it an easy process. It was probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Um, all of the addictions, the psychological, the physical, the emotional. Um, I mean, it was just a really hard battle. But I'm the kind of girl that does what she says, and I decided to do it, and I was going to make it happen one way or another. So I'm. And I heard I you're you're running a marathon soon. Yeah, I just ran a half marathon in Vegas, and then I'll be running another one, hopefully uh, New Year's, for um, a half marathon in Palm Springs. So great! I think running a marathon is a great thing you can do once you quit smoking. So congratulations! Thank you, Sarah. Thank you for respecting our smoke-free policy. We hope you will join us in supporting our efforts and having a healthier hospital environment.